In this tutorial, let's look what is inside T-1000S Pixel LED controller and how it works. Alright, uh, the first thing you have to do is to disassemble this pixel LED controller. We have two screws on each side. Um, let's remove them. I'm going to use this Phillips screwdriver. Alright, once all the screws been removed, uh, you can take out the top part of this housing. Remove the button knobs, push button knobs. Alright, then we have four screws holding this PCB to this housing. I'm going to remove them as well. Alright, now we can pull out the PCB from the housing. First, we need to remove the SD card. Alright, like that. You can remove the PCB from this housing. Alright, that's how you disassemble this Pixel LED controller. Let's see how this uh, Pixel LED controller PCB works. Here's the version number, which is important when it comes to selecting the uh, correct version of LED Edit to program this controller. Let's talk about the components in this PCB. Uh, starting with the power circuit, this is the power input terminal. We have two power inputs, the 724 power input, ground and 5 volt power input. Alright, now let's look at the 724 power input circuit. The 724 positive terminal connects to this dial, goes through this dial and this doubt is for reverse polarity protection which means if you mistakenly reverse the polarity of the input power nothing will be damaged because of the use of this doubt this is the current limiting resistor in series to this power input and this will protect the circuit and the components in case of short circuit or uh, over current. Alright, this is the smooth capacitor on the input 7024 input uh, press, and you can see here that uh, input press connects to the input of this 7805 linear regulator. So this one will convert that 7024 
input to firewall. All right, this, this is the smooth capacitor for that firewall, Chris. All right, this uh, firewall line also su supply the power to this 3117 3.3 linear regulator IC. Uh, let's look at the firewall input line. As you can see, they use the same uh, dial for the reverse power portion, there's no current limiting resistor in this uh, input, power input. That power volt line connects to this 3117 3.3 volt regulator IC's input and also connects to the power trace of this PCB directly. So the power volt line will directly connect to the firewall trace or rail of this PCB. All right, uh, let's talk about the components in the circuit. Uh, this regulator IC or the firewall power rail supply the power to these two ICs and the 3.3 regulator IC supply the power to the microcontroller and the SD card slot. Also, it supplies the power to these two LEDs. The push buttons, in this case, directly connected to the microcontroller inputs. This is the program terminal for this microcontroller. As you can see, there are few components that are missing from this PCB, this IC and this IC. This IC is for RS485 interface, which is uh, it should be connected to the A and B terminals of this uh, pixel LED controller. Unfortunately, we don't have that IC in this PCB. All right, let's talk about the function of this pixel LED controller. As you can see, we have two microcontroller ICs. Uh, instead of a one mic controller the original t-1000s pixel led controller only have a single microcontroller ic if there is two microcontroller ics in a t-1000s pixel led controller it is probably a clone of the original t-1000 pixel led controller this microcontroller is connected to this SD card, it reads the FF file data, which include the color data for your pixel LEDs in your pixel LED strings. Depending on the pixel LED controller, this microcontroller will forward that data to this microcontroller. As you can see, we have a lot of phrases that between these two microcontrollers. This microcontroller will output the color data, the data line, and the clock signal to this IC. As you can see, the data for the next pixel LED controller comes from this microcontroller. So it doesn't have a connection to this microcontroller. Two signals coming from this microcontroller and this microcontroller will provide the data for the next pixel LED controller in the network. This IC, you can see it is missing. This IC uh, is the SN5176B bus trans receiver IC designed for RS485 signal transmission. This IC is the IC that connects to the A and B terminals of this pixel LED controller. This is the IC that required for controlling pixel LEDs that use RS485 signal protocol. So it's missing. This IC is a 8-bit transducive IC. As you can see, the outputs of this microcontroller provided to the pins of this IC. This is the data signal trace it connects to uh, four pins of this IC 
and this is the clock signal it's connected to three pins of this IC and this is the data for the next pixel LED controller in the network it is connected to one pin of this uh, IC this IC will relay that signals to the corresponding pins at the other side as you can see these four traces will carry the data signal connects to these SMD resistors at the other side as you can see one of the data signals uh, connected to this trace at the other end it is connected to this uh, IC which is missing the other three data signal uh, traces are connected together at the other end of this SMD resistors then connects to the data pin of this pixel LED controller same goes to the clock signal as well as you can see these are the clock signals they are connected together at the other end of the SMD resistor and then it connects clock pin of this uh, pixel LED controller the last one is the data for the next pixel LED controller it connects to the A out pin or terminal of this pixel LED controller uh, you might ask what is the reason behind using this IC uh, it is a 8-bit transmissive IC it has high uh, noise immunity at the inputs any noise at the input pins have less effect on the output signal from this IC also this uh, IC can deliver much more higher current output compared to the microcontrollers in this pixel LED controller uh, that is the function of this pixel LED controller if you are interested in building your own pixel LED controller check out the website article below in the description if you like this video please leave a like if you like my channel please subscribe thank you for watching see you in another tutorial i'm Sam for learnit step by step.com